the prehistoric world of giant bugs. Scientists believe that insects have existed on Earth since before the age of dinosaurs. Millions of years ago, specifically during the Carboniferous period, these ancient creatures were significantly larger than the insects we see today. Thankfully, the possibility of stumbling upon these extinct species in your home or garden is practically non-existent. Let's explore the reasons behind their massive size and uncover why they vanished from our planet. Imagine a girl named Sarah who finds herself in an ancient forest 290 million years ago, where giant bugs soared and stomped over the earth. The forest has very tall trees covered in vines and moss, and she can hear the sound of big wings buzzing far away. Sarah doesn't know exactly where she is, but everything around her looks and sounds so different from what you would hear in a forest today. She walks carefully, amazed and a little scared as big leaves brush against her. The air smells like wet plants and flowers. She can hear the sound of unknown animals calling from the thick green bushes and trees. As she journeys deeper into the forest, Sarah suddenly stops. There, in a sunny spot, was something huge and incredible. It was a pulmonoscorpius, a giant scorpion, sitting quietly. The Pulmonoscorpius curtonesis, or breathing scorpion, was a huge scorpion that lived around 340 million years ago during the Vician era of the Carboniferous period. Discovered in Scotland in 1994 by Andrew J. Jaram, this creature could grow as long as 71 centimeters, making it one of the largest scorpions to have ever existed. Unlike the scorpions we're familiar with today, which can be found in deserts, forests, and mountains. The Pulmonoscorpius preferred swampy environments. This preference for swamps over more commonly known scorpion habitats, such as jungles and deserts, was unusual. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Pulmonoscorpius was its size. At 50 to 70 centimeters long, it was significantly larger than modern-day scorpions, which typically measure between 5 and 18 centimeters in length. The reason for its massive size is tied to the Earth's atmosphere during the Carboniferous period, which had an oxygen level of more than 60% higher than today's. This rich oxygen environment allowed anthropods, including scorpions, to grow much larger than they can in our current atmosphere. During this time, their primary focus was mating and laying eggs, therefore not presenting a threat to Sarah, who quickly walked past them she found herself in a lush and oxygen-rich Carboniferous era, where towering ferns and dense forests dominated the landscape. The air was humid and the ground was covered in damp moss and ferns. The sunlight filtering through the dense canopy above. And as she followed the sun's rays into a possible clearing, Sarah's attention is captured by the sight of a massive millipede its hard exoskeleton sparkled in the sun, making her stop and look in wonder at the big creature from a world so different to ours. Arthropleura was a massive millipede, as heavy as a large dog that lived over 300 million years ago. Scientists have learned about its size from a recent fossil discovery showing it was around 2.5 meters long. Similar in length to a small car like a Fiat Topolino, this discovery was made in Northumberland and helps us understand its enormous size. This creature existed between 359 to 299 million years ago, a time when Earth had much more oxygen because a lot of carbon was stored in plants. The oxygen level in the atmosphere was over 26%, sometimes reaching more than 30% compared to today's 21%. This high oxygen level is believed to have allowed insects and similar creatures to grow much larger. Unlike many animals that use blood to transport oxygen, insects have tubes called trachea that directly deliver oxygen to their tissues. However, this system delivers oxygen more slowly, limiting the size they can grow to today. 
but with more oxygen in the past, they could grow bigger. There's still a debate among scientists about why these creatures were so large. Some think it was to cope with the high oxygen levels, while others believe a lack of flying predators allowed them to grow larger. Despite the debates, it's generally agreed that the high oxygen levels at the time contributed to the giant size of creatures like Arthropleura. Their fossils are mainly found in the latter part of this oxygen-rich period. Seeing the Arthropleura was interesting, but scary. Sarah's survival instinct kicked in, so she tried her best to quietly walk past them, but her focus on escaping the Arthropleura led her to an area inhabited by giant spiders with their long, silky webs stretching between trees. Luckily, the spiders were busy with other bugs caught in their webs, which gave Sarah an opportunity to sneak by. Survival in this prehistoric world was a constant challenge. Sarah crafted shelters from the enormous leaves to protect herself from the elements and the gaze of predatory insects like colossal dragonflies. Giant dragonflies, also known as Meganeura, an extinct order of large dragonfly-like insects, were enormous insects that lived approximately 300 million years ago during the Carboniferous period. Meganeura had wingspans ranging from about 75 to possibly over 90 centimeters, making them some of the largest insects to have ever lived. These dragonflies were significantly larger than modern dragonflies, which typically have wingspans of a few centimeters. Their size was comparable to that of small birds. Meganeura lived during the Carboniferous period, and they were found in what is now Europe and North America. Several factors contributed to the large size of Meganeura and other insects during the Carboniferous period. The increased oxygen concentration is believed to have facilitated the growth of large insects by enhancing their respiratory efficiency. Also, during this time, vertebrate predators were not as diverse or advanced as they are today. This lack of large predators allowed insects to grow to larger sizes without the same level of selective pressure. The climate was warm and humid, providing an ideal environment for the development of giant insects. A remarkable fact about the Meganorus is that they were not true dragonflies, but belonged to a group of insects known as griffinflies. An examination of the fossils of Meganeura shows that their wings had a network of veins similar to those of modern dragonflies. They were likely opportunistic carnivores, preying on smaller insects. Every day was a test of Sarah's ability to stay unnoticed from predatory insects, find food, and maintain hope of finding a way back to her own world. A turning point came when Sarah tried to cross a river, only to be confronted by a swarm of aggressive Meganeura dragonflies. Their intimidating size and buzzing wings forced her to retreat, and an unfortunate slip led her into the river's swift current. Swept away, the last image imprinted in her memory was the majestic form of a giant dragonfly against the sun, a symbol of the wild beauty and inherent danger of this lost world. Just as Sarah's tragic end, the Carboniferous period ended on the onset of the Permian period. Climate changes, continental drift, and other geological factors likely affected the transition. The end of the Carboniferous was marked by a decline in swampy environments, possibly affecting the habitat suitable for giant insects. Additionally, the Permian Trassic extinction event occurred around 525 million years ago, leading to significant changes in the Earth's ecosystems and the extinction of many species, including Meganeura and its relatives. Exploring the prehistoric world reveals that insects millions of years ago vastly outsized those we see today. Thanks to higher oxygen levels and scarce predator threats of the Carboniferous period. Through the narrative of Sarah's fictional venture into a land of giant bugs and the factual examination of Meganeura, Erythropleura, and Palmanoscorpius, we gain insight into this ancient era. These creatures ranging from dragonflies with over 90 centimeter wingspans to the Arthropleura weighed as much as a large dog, highlight the significant evolutionary changes in size and ecosystem dynamics. The decline of these giants due to environmental shifts and ecosystem evolution marks a pivotal moment in Earth's biological chronicle. 
And as we explore these ancient times, it leads us to ponder, how would our daily lives change if these gigantic insects were still part of today's world?